seen that Doug P on the floor. Stop it. I'm talking about Solo. Hit the bricks, he says. I love him. Who says that except my dad? Man, Boys and girls, I am Mark Sterling. I have to stop with the potty mouth, please. Well, that I agree with. This is on television. There are kids watching. That's please true. Please have some class. I have three bachelors, two masters, and an MBA. And I am here to provide this man valuable consultation. I love him. So he's a consultant? Yes. Stop talking about Rick Palladino that way, folks. He's a nice guy. I'm an alcoholic. Now I've been telling <laughs> Alex for years to cut the fat. The meaty fat, the meat man, John Silver. And on Sunday, he did just that. Fat meat. Now we can focus on him becoming the ace of Beyond Wrestling and tonight. We can focus. We can focus on knocking her out and that little dog too. Yes! No! Yes! Sit down! Yes! Sit I will give you Sit all down. of my money! Sit down! All of my money! Sit down! Sit down. From Long Relax. Island, New York. Relax. The handsome devil, Alex Reynolds! And in 30 seconds, Mark Sterling became the best wrestler in the to my right is a company to ringside by the one and only Officer Magnum! Yes! Disgusting. How about that? I'm going to stand up now. Sit down! It's a dog. He represents the newly crowned... You look like it's Lou Fez. Should I do another if they're talking about Solo right now? No. Stop okay. It. Just check. That's enough. He oh. represents the newly crowned Feast Championship Wrestling Champion. He's wiping his butt on the From the Savage ring. Garden EF. She is taller than a stack of pancakes. Leaner than a pint of ice cream. The Archduke of the Apron. Regulation Solo Darling. I feel like Officer Magnum may have Stockholm Syndrome. Well, Solo Darling not only becoming popular with the fans here during Uncharted Territory, but getting a number of big victories, beating Layla Hirsch, Alexia Nicole, JXT, Heidi Katrina at WWR. So during this few month span, she has gotten some big wins. Get the camera off the dog. The views are going to go down on IWTV.live. Probably go up. Oh. People love dogs. What's wrong with you? Not that one. Get her back. Look at Alex Reynolds. Get her back. Solo darling. Getting right in the face of Alex Reynolds, but... And look at the space that Mark Sterling has created on the other side of the ring. Moving the fans out of the way. The people that love to bang on the ring and everything else. Not while Mark Sterling's out there. Give that man his space to move. There's a lot of names I could call Alex Reynolds, but one I will give him credit for is he's cool, calm, and collected. Very, very cool. Such a cool guy. Well, I don't know about that, but he's collected and composed. No, I've talked to him. He's really cool. Oh! And Look. holds on to wrist control there after the suplex. And Solo Darling, she's trained with the best of them. You know, she's done a lot of great things in her very young career. The sky is the limit for this young lady, and she can tie you in knots as well. Deathlock here. And Reynolds quickly going to that bottom row. Very, very smart. See, the ring awareness of Alex Reynolds sets him apart. Mark Sterling will set him apart even more. 
So he is the consultant for Alex Reynolds. I wasn't aware Mark Sterling was uh, offering his services. Neither was I, but you know what? Now that I know, I may call him up after Uncharted Territory tonight. Please do, you need help. He's already a better manager than I am. Reynolds connects with the elbow, sends Solo Darling backwards. She reverses the whip. Reynolds with a kick to the shoulder, but Solo not feeling it. Yep, leaner than a pint of ice cream is Solo Darling. There you go, grab the nose, grab the eyes. Very, very smart. And the positioning was perfect. Referee Kevin Quinn couldn't see it as he did it, so he gets away with one there. And look at Mark Sterling now stalking so low, darling. He's not doing anything. Mark Sterling making his presence felt, and the distraction allows Reynolds to hit a baseball slide on Solo Darling. Why the hell is Kevin Quinn admonishing Mark Sterling when these fans get even closer to the competitors than Mark Sterling just was to Solo Darling? He should be yelling at all these fans, too. Because these fans are going to try to attack Solo Darling like Mark Sterling would. Look at that bald guy in the red shirt. You know he's thought about it. He would not. Elbow to the back of Solo Darling and Reynolds using that forearm and wrenching it across the face of Darling. So smart. The little things hurt the most. And that's what Alex Reynolds is doing here. And again, face wash there with his boot. And it's the small little things like that that makes Reynolds so dangerous. Oh, absolutely. You always hear guys, oh, brother, you gotta work the arm or the leg. Alex Reynolds is working a human being's face right now. And he's staying on top of it, and he's doing damage. Ate a few kicks, but got a knee into the gut of Darling. And count. did you notice that pin? While he didn't hook the leg, which may be a mistake, he took the forearm and just grinded it across the bridge of the nose, now rubbing that face in the mat. Alex Reynolds looking to end season one with a win based off this newfound friendship or consulting relationship that he has with Mark Sterling. This may be the biggest move in uncharted wrestling, in uncharted territory history. Solo Darling fighting back with those kicks, but Reynolds up, Very gets behind her. Wow! He just went under the leg and then dropped her down on the back. Makes the cover. There's a two count there. And look at Mark Sterling. He now has security around him as well, so that way the fans don't get too close to him. I love it. Alex Reynolds. Again, wrenching away, this time at the chin, making it really hurt, trying to cut the oxygen off at Solo, and really just trying to be annoying as well. Oh, and, and that's a big thing, is annoying. And what that does is it gets into your opponent's head, and they're more apt to make a mistake later on in the match. Alex Reynolds, again, attacking Solo Darling hard here. And look at that chin lock. He has his hand on the mouth. He's pulling at the lips of Solo. Genius. Firing away with shots, trying to get back into this one. Ducks the fist. There's a kick. No, ducks a couple of more. Look at this. He's throwing haymakers, and she's dodging them all. And she is firing away with kicks and slaps, bringing Reynolds down to his knees. And now, there it is, that big kick to the back of the head. What Solo has to do is get Alex Reynolds to the apron, and that's where Solo is the most dangerous. Gonna go for that honey steamer. Connects. Nicely done. Gonna go for another one. Oh, no, she isn't. Reynolds catches her, but no. She's able to muscle through and connect on the second. She manipulated her body to the other ropes. Look at this. Goes for the third. Reynolds catches it. Sends her back first into that second turnbuckle. And, oh, look oh. at Solo. Solo catches him. No. Gonna try it. Rusted shoot connects. Two count. 
The incredible strength of Solo Darling is always a huge underestimated differentiator in every one of her matches, and we just saw one. Gonna try for the Sharp Stinger. Sharp Stinger! Sharp Stinger! And puts his hand into the eyes. Didn't use the fingertips. Use the hand to rub the eyes to get out of that one. So smart. Is that it? Gets the shoulder up, but it looked very desperate. Yeah, she more or less did that on instinct. I think she could be out. Well, she is feeling this one. Alex Reynolds defeating John Silver this past Sunday with help from Mark Sterling and now looking to make it two straight as we end season one. This is a mistake. What are you doing on the apron? Solo Darling is usually the one to take things to the apron, but now Alex Reynolds looking to feed her her own medicine. Oh, and he's trying to seduce her as well. No! See? He paid for it! What a mistake by Alex Reynolds. Death Valley driver! Nope, foot on the rope. Foot, foot on, the rope. on the bottom rope. And I couldn't tell if it was Mark no, Sterling not doing it. Not at all. No, I didn't see him do anything. He was actually just over there examining. Examining, is that what you call it? Examining, cross-examining. Well, Solo Darling still picking that leg apart. Gonna go for the Sharp Stinger again. Sharp Stinger. And this time, it's in the middle of the ring. Oh, no. Oh, Wait. my God. Hey. Yes. Put that yes. dog down. Yes. Hey. Drop it. What the hell? Drop the dog. Give it a suplex. Yes. You, you watch your mouth. What is he doing? Where is he going? Oh, he's got the dog. That's a balcony. We're That's, on the second he's floor. He's going to throw her off. We're on the second yes. floor. Roll up. Handful of tights. Yes. You've got to be kidding yes. me. Yes. That is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. You have got to be kidding me. That's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Here is your winner, the handsome devil, Alex Reynolds. You have got to be kidding me. Mark Sterling grabbed Officer Magnum and threatened to throw the dog off the balcony. And in one night, Mark Sterling became the most hated man in beyond, but he became a man after my own heart. And with that distraction, Reynolds with a handful of tights gets the pin, but we'll go back to that in season two. I'd